Hey everyone, it's nice to see you again. Today I have a yin practice for you, targeting the spine as well as the lower body, working with releasing the fascia with poles that are a little bit longer. We begin in child's pose. So just begin to make your way. Keep some distance between the knees. Allow the big toes to touch behind and then just gently take your hips back and lower the forehead to the floor. Begin to notice the points of contact that your body has to the floor, the palms on the floor, the tops of the feet, the shins. And as you exhale, allow the body to relax and release to the floor. As you inhale, feel that expansion in the chest, in the back body. And then as you exhale, consciously allow the body to relax, to soften, and slowly surrender to the floor. Stay with the breath. And beginning to allow the body to come into stillness. Feeling the expansion with each inhale and the release with each exhale. We're going to gently make our way up. Take your time. Come to sit with the legs extended out. Keep the feet on the floor and let the hands just rest behind you. We drop the knees over to one side. And then drop the knees over to the other. We're going to move into caterpillar pose. So take the legs out in front. Feel free to bend the knees. You can even place something underneath. We're not looking, we're not looking for a long spine and a deep stretch, but allow the spine to round and just drop the head down. As you inhale, just breathe into the back body, the spine. As you exhale, let the spine round. Let the head and the shoulders, the chest get heavy. And notice yourself sinking closer to the floor. Stay with each breath. Noticing the sensations in the body. Consciously giving yourself permission to release and to let go. Just surrendering to the pose. Keeping the body in stillness. And noticing the gentle movements of the breath in the body. And even though the physical body is not moving, use the breath to take the body deeper into the pose. Gently press yourself back up. Bring the feet in. Any comfortable cross leg position. As you inhale, lift the chest, lift the head. 
Exhale, curl and round, tailbone tucks. Inhale, lift the chest, shoulders back. And exhale, curl and round. Inhale. And exhale, back to neutral. From here we come into a lunge, dragon pose. So we'll start with the right leg forward. Left knee on the floor. If your fingers can't reach the floor, maybe come up onto some blocks. You want a place where you can um, rest and relax. Allow that left hip to drop down to the floor. Let the hips get heavy. And then finding that place of stillness where you want to stay. Awareness to where you feel the sensation. And instead of resisting the sensation, maybe it's there in the front of the left hip. Can you allow the body to move towards the sensation? Can you relax into it? Find a deeper release. If the sensation becomes very intense, take your awareness to your breath. Stay with your inhale, stay with the exhale. Soften the hips down. We begin to come out. Go ahead and tuck the toes. Step it forward one or two steps. We come into a gentle forward fold. So bend the knees as much as you need to. Let the arms drop down. Let the head hang. Once you're here, you can begin to lift the hips up behind just as much as you want to feel. And then stay. We step the right leg back, bring the right knee to the floor, find your pose on this side, use blocks if you need a little extra height. Take a few moments to settle into the pose and gradually beginning to release the right thigh, the right hip. taking the breath, using the breath to help you release and relax those muscles. Can you allow your body to move into the sensation? Move towards the sensation, more release. And remember, if it gets too intense, take your awareness to the breath, the inhale, the exhale, but stay with the pose. Breathe deep, use the breath to stay. Use the breath to relax and soften. We're going to slowly release. 
from here we move into child's pose. So however you want to get there, take the left leg back, open out the knees a little bit, move slowly, hips move all the way back, and bring the forehead to your mat. A little release for the hips. Let them get heavy. Again, finding that place that we began the practice with. Surrendering to the mat. And go ahead and gently press yourself back up. We're going to come now to sit in a wide legged position. Not too wide that you can't sit up straight. You can even sit up on a little cushion if you need to. And then wherever you are, you just want to tilt a little forward, even if your hands are behind the hips or in front. You don't have to go so very far down, just somewhere where you can stay with a little tilt in the pelvis and then allow the spine and the hips to soften and to relax. Staying connected to the breath, breathe deeply. Instead of forcing the body down, see if you can use the breath just to relax and to soften. And then stay in the space, find stillness in the body. Very gently begin to come out of it. Take your time. Now we come to sit cross-legged, any comfortable seated posture. As you inhale, reach the arms up, gaze up to where the fingertips are. And as you exhale, we'll do a little twist to the right, left hand onto the right knee, right hand behind the back. Sit up tall. And exhale, twist. Again, inhale. And we twist to the left. Right hand on left knee, left hand behind the back. Sit up tall. And exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen up the spine. And exhale. We're gonna take the right leg out to the side and keep the left foot into the body. We take the right hand either on the leg, on the mat, anywhere that's comfortable, and then we roll the left shoulder open. You can keep your left hand behind the head, you can keep it reaching up or resting on your leg, wherever it's comfortable. We're just looking to get into a nice side bend. Once you find which variation that you'd like to stay in, we stay and hold. Notice the stretch on the left side body, taking the awareness of the breath to where you feel the sensation. Allow the spine, the upper body to get heavy and just relax down into your side bend. And instead of trying to hold yourself, just surrender the body. With every exhale, maybe you move a little bit closer down.
Use your breath to soften, to relax. You might feel very subtle, small changes in the body and the sensations as you begin to release and let go as you spend more time in the pose. Make our way out, slowly release. And we'll take it on to the other side. Bring the right leg in and left leg out. Whatever you did on the first side, do again on this side. Same variation, the hands. Take a few moments just to set yourself up. And then begin to settle the body Connect to the breath. Use the breath to release and soften. Feel the side stretch. Feel the position of the spine. Notice how your side stretch feels on this side. Breathe into the sensations. Allow the body to soften and to lower. Allow yourself to go deep. Slowly gonna make our way out. Take your time. From here we move on to all fours. Take a little bit of movement in the spine with cat and cow. So as you inhale, chest lift, shoulders back. Exhale, curl and round. Focus on the movements of the spine. Allow the spine to soften. And come back to neutral. From here, we're either going to do saddle pose or reclined butterfly. So with reclined butterfly, soles of the feet together and you go ahead and lay down. You can take blocks or cushions underneath the knees. Allow yourself to get comfortable and hold here. If you're in saddle pose, you're going to take the ankles close by the hips, knees on the floor facing forward, maybe about hip distance apart. And then again, lowering down onto the back. You don't want to feel any pinchy feeling in the low back. You should be able to feel supported, feeling it maybe in the hip flexors and the fronts of the thighs. So choose your pose, which is challenging, but somewhere where you are comfortable enough to stay to relax, to release. You can ask your body, which pose is right for you today? What does your body need? Where do we need to 
the biggest release. And again, connecting to your breath. Aware on the inhale, aware of the exhale. Feeling the gentle movements in the body from the breath. You allow the body to soften even deeper. Can you allow the physical body to surrender and let go? We're going to slowly make our way out. Whichever pose that you're in. And from here, we just come to lay down back on the mat and bring the knees up toward the chest and give your back a gentle massage. From here, take your feet to the floor. And then we take the right ankle on top of the left thigh. We're gonna hold on to the back of the left thigh or the front of the shin. You wanna make sure that your chin is not lifting up. So bring the chin closer to the body, stretch out the back of the neck. Notice where you feel the stretch here. What does this pose feel like? the muscles where you feel the sensations. Can you release? Can you relax them? When we feel a sort of pain or stretch, the body automatically tries to tighten and stop you from going deeper. But can you move past that consciously with the breath? Give your body permission to release and to let go. Gently release. Left foot releases to the floor. Right foot follows. Take breath just here, both feet on the floor. And then we take it to the other side, left ankle up on the right thigh. Interlace the hands around the thigh or around the shin. Notice your chin, the back of your neck. Low back should be nice contact with the floor. Breathe deeply. Breathe in to the outer left hip, glute muscles. Breathe deeply. Allow the body to soften. Allow the body to become still.
you slowly release. Right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor. Take the hands alongside the body. As you inhale, we press into the feet, into the hands, and begin to lift the hips, tuck the tailbone. Strong legs. And exhale, slowly come down. Press into the feet, press into the hands and shoulders. Lift up. And exhale, lower. Once more, inhale, lift up. And exhale, relax. From here, we're gonna take our last pose, which is a twist. You can do any twist of your choice. Extend the arms out to the side. You can cross one leg over the other. Whenever you're ready, just dropping the knees over to one side. You can always use your hand on top of the knees. Turn your head to one side. Allow the body to slowly open into the twist, get more comfortable. Legs get heavy, shoulders get heavy. Allow the spine to twist all the way from the top of the neck to the base of the spine. Breathing deeply and as you exhale, release and relax into the twist. Let the spine relax, soften and twist. Make your way back to center. Take your time to take it onto the other side. Same variation. Allow your body a few breaths to settle into the twist on this side. Shoulders, shoulder blades release towards the floor. Knees, thighs release towards the floor. Begin to deepen your breath. An awareness to the spine. Consciously allow the spine to twist and to relax. Creating expansion as you breathe in and creating release as you exhale.
once again we slowly come out bring everything back to center go ahead and extend the legs out toes open naturally to the sides arms by the body a little space in between take a deep breath in And as you exhale, just let the body relax. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just release, relax the body, maybe breathe out through the mouth. Once again, take a deep breath in. And release, sigh it all out. Let your breath just return to normal. Let the body remain still. Again, maybe notice the support from the floor. Notice how the body feels. Notice how the mind feels. Maybe a little more relaxed, a little more stable. Notice any body sensations. Take the last few moments of this practice to release and let go anything that's left. Relaxing the body completely. take a deep breath in fill up the lungs fill up the chest and as you exhale begin to bring a little movement into the hands and into the feet take another deep breath in and as you exhale maybe gently take the head from side to side And once again, take a deep breath in. Begin to bend the knees and just rolling onto one side as you exhale. Take a deep breath in. And gently press yourself back up. Any comfortable seated posture. Inhale, take a deep breath in, sweep the arms up. And exhale, bring it all back in towards your chest. That brings us to the close of this practice. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to join me for more practices, feel free to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again.